are trying to get out some medals. Uh, first of all, in background, my wife comes from Samar, it was an island. 20,000 people were killed during the uh, Philippine War, civilians, by General Smith, which is something few people know about. Her father lived through World War II under Japanese occupation, which was not fun. And there's an island in the Philippine, near the Philippines, the Marshall Islands. So I want to present from the President of the Republic of the Marshall Islands these medals to Garrett. Mm -hmm. yeah. soldiers who they were Irish, most of them, and they said, why are we fighting for a country that oppresses our people? We should be on the other side. And they became the best unit in the Mexican army and, and almost won the Battle of Churubusco. Okay, that's another one unit. In World War I, the Russian army ended the war. The soldiers said, we're not going to fight anymore. They walked back toward Moscow. And that was the end of the Tsarist Empire. French troops rebelled in 1917, and the rebellion spread throughout the entire French army. They had to bring artillery in with Moroccan mercenaries to fire on their own troops. So there have been mutinies throughout history. And I think that the soldiers will end this war. The soldiers themselves. The soldiers ended the war in Vietnam, Al Grana, the soldiers at Firebase Pace, and hundreds of other places, there was not a reporter like myself to be there and tell about it. Now, there's probably mutinies going on, I'm sure these gentlemen will tell me the same thing and tell you there's a lot of stuff going on over there that's not being reported, nobody knows about, but believe me, it's happening. And I want to thank you all for the work you're doing, because I think without the support of people like you, I think the, the soldiers in Iraq would feel kind of abandoned, but I think they know now that they have supported home. And again, I want to honor the real heroes of this war, these gentlemen here.